CBS 17 News. He's on alert. Let you know you can't really be out here at night. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta keep yourself safe because uh, there's some crazy people out here. A Raleigh officer is in the hospital after he was shot last night. Officer Charles Ainsworth was in surgery for several hours after being shot last night on Western Boulevard. This is near Shaw Drive. We've had team coverage of this breaking story since last night, and that continues right now at noon. We start with CBS 17's Beershaw Edme, who is live now at the hospital where that officer is recovering. Beershaw, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. You know, I just spoke with a leader who is in the police union alongside Officer Amesworth, and he did tell me the officer is now in serious condition. Earlier in the morning, we've been reporting critical conditions. So if there's any sense of good news here or something that kind of gives us a little bit of hope, it would be that. Now, let's talk about how we got to this point, right? We have two suspects who are directly connected to this case of Officer Amesworth being shot. So I want to go ahead and start out with uh, looking at Cedric Kearney. He is charged with attempted murder of Officer Ainsworth. We were there when the 24 year old went before the magistrate to hear his charges and a bond of $2.5 million. Now, the warrants that I got show the connection between Kearney and as well another person, Antonio Fletcher. Antonio Fletcher, he is charged with possession of a stolen firearm. He has a $10,000 bond. Now, before the two connected, we know there was a armed robbery. Warrants say that a car was stolen, a man's car was stolen, his wallet, his phone, and there was a threat to that man with a handgun. And that is when uh, the stolen car was taken. And from there, Officer Amesworth actually stopped that car because it came up as a stolen vehicle. That's when we know the officer was shot multiple times. Now, there's a third person in all of this, and we saw her in front of the magistrate as well, Sherry Richmond. Her connection to this is she is listed as being part of that armed robbery alongside Kearney. So, a complicated case here. As as everything unfolds, and of course, we're speaking to so many people who are involved in this. That includes the police union. Here's what they had to say moments ago. The job a police officer takes every day is there's you don't know what to expect. You can go in and expect nothing all day, or you can go in and expect people shooting at you. And this is a perfect example of police officers who go into work and they don't know if they're going to come home that day. And I want the community to understand the seriousness of, of this job of being a police officer and how serious and how dangerous this job truly is. Real concern this afternoon from fellow officers, retired officers, about what is happening in the streets of the city and also what's happening to this officer. In the meantime, I do want to let you know there's a fourth suspect we found in these warrants here connected to a completely different crime out in Holly Springs. That is a breaking and entering case as well as larceny where six firearms were stolen. So all of those connections you can find right now on CBS17.com. In the meantime, we will stay on top of this story as we learn developments. We'll bring them to you. We do know if there's there's a possibility that these two men may be in court later today. Reporting live, I'm Beershaw Edme with CBS 17 News.